Peace. So, um, I was asked a question about how do I see the police? Um, do I see the police as being racist? And the answer to that question is, first of all, yeah, I, I see racism. Of course, there's no doubt about that. But also, let's understand from another perspective. Let's look at it from a, a structural racist, racism perspective. Um, the police departments themselves are designed and were originally conceived on the basis of catching slaves. I mean, if you look back at the origin of, of police, policing in America, of course, it comes from slavery. Started probably, if I'm not mistaken, the mid 19th century, 1850 something. Yeah, I mean, the symbol they use, the six point star, um, you, you know, and today they're called sheriffs. The word sheriff is a word that is related to the word sharif. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, we can see the combination of the ties even to the six point star. But the reality was that these guys were slave catchers. You understand? So that mentality of catching the slave was ingrained in the origin of policing. You understand? So this is why I say that, yeah, police are racist, but the structural concept of the origin of police is based on racism. It was based from the slavery paradigm. So therefore, when we look at what's happening with the cops, with our people in different communities all over the United States, you know, the different types of abuse, the different types of mistreatment, we can see the double standards and so on and so forth. We see the inequalities, you know, and the thing that we have to understand is, is that this is a part of the police paradigm. I see the police myself. I see them as a paramilitary organization, you know, a gang, you know what I'm saying, that are, that's running wild and that has been running wild and rampant for the last hundred year, hundred plus years in, 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 in our communities, um, in more ways than one, you, you know, of course there are good cops and, 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 and I fell for them because they should be able to come forward and defend, you know, for justice, but they can't because the police department is designed as a unit. Number one, it's a fraternal order. You know what I'm saying? So therefore it's a fraternity. You understand? And we know that fraternities, they keep loyalty to each other you understand they have a thing in law enforcement called the blue wall of silence and this is where you know cops shut down and will protect other cops even in their misdoings murders so on and so forth and they will shut down and not give any information to any other sources you understand that that could aid in bringing justice to a civilian and things of that nature it's the blue wall of silence and we understand that that blue being related possibly to the blue house because again the police are a fraternal order so you're looking at a structural idea so of course being implanted in an inner city the cops will always choose to come after the slaves or those who are perceived and still taught to be the underclass you know what i mean where the trouble and the crime exist and lies the unequal images that they give and show of us committing crime is 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 due to psychology that is to enforce and keep the policymakers doing what they do. And it keeps the masses of people looking at our people funny. The power of images and the power of media is an amazing thing. And we see how it works every day. So the police, yeah, you know, the whole structure is based on inequality. The whole structure is not designed for the protection of all people. It's, it protects some people, but it doesn't protect all people. You understand? So this is where it is important for us to learn how to be to commute to, to police and to communicate certain types of injustices that happen in our community with each other that we can handle it. You know what I mean, we have a very, very uh, serious thing going on in our community with the children and, and with 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 a lot of ignoring certain types of predatory behavior that exist in our community. We have child molesters all over the place and families and so on and so forth. And you want to hush it up and you want to keep it quiet. We shouldn't do those things. We should deal with those, those things adequately so we can begin to be respected as a people that can take care of ourselves, that as a people that can govern ourselves. You understand? Because, you know, we don't want law enforcement killing us. We want to work hand in hand with our own people and bring them a better circumstance and condition by enacting that proper form of consequence for acts that 
harm and are of a detriment to our children as well as our communities. We have to be responsible. We can't call on the police all the time, even though we do need them. A lot of us say we don't like the police. You know what I'm saying? We don't, you know, we don't, we, 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 we hate the police. But when something happens, you call them. You understand? You call them. And for the gangsters, the, predator, the predators in our community, I'm talking about right now, of course, I began talking about the police, structural racism, and so on and so forth. But I kind of, I'm kind of jumping topics right quick because this is a message to also to those brothers out there who want to be rough and tough with their own people. Who wants to pull guns and 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 commit crimes and atrocities on your own people? My thing is this: you're cowards because you wouldn't do that when a cop comes around. When a cop comes into a community, you go hide your gun. You will allow the cop to pull your pants down and put a dog up between your butt cheeks and you know disrespect you in public and basically rape you in public. But you hard, but you rough and you tough. As soon as they leave, you go get your gun. You go find it from the cut. You go get it and you put it back on and you walk around and you flash us. See, that's a sick mentality. There's no respect there. And this is what's common in our community. Put that energy where it belongs. On the person or the system that is trying to kill you. You know what I'm saying? Protect yourself from that. Don't protect yourself from me. I'm not your enemy. You know what I mean? So, again, with that being said, the cops, it's a structural science. You know what I'm saying? They're enacting out a paradigm that's been ingrained in their very policy, in their very instruction, you understand, is to get the criminal. But the criminal has been labeled historically. So what we're looking at is the historical paradigm catching up to a modern situation. I mean, it's gonna they're going to always hunt us down because that's how it's designed. This country was not built for our people, even though we built the country. You understand? And when we built the country, we built the country as not even quote unquote human beings. We built it as property, chateau property. You know, we built it as basically animals because, again, the nationality and in, in, in the divine creed was stripped away. So that was just the soul, spirit and the body with no point of origin and easily to be molded. So with that being said, just a little bell, you know, peace.